So, EA dropped the max 87 rated icon upgrade and it's actually reasonably priced. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast and reliable ultimate team coins, check out MMOEXP.com. Link in the description, say 5% using code HABER. It's an 86 rated and an 85 rated squad. No special cards required and it's a max 87 base icon pack. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like down below as it massively helps out and subscribe if you're new around here. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys get from your pack. Here we go. Can I get a decent icon EA? Italy. CDM is Gattuso. I've not done very well there, have I? Oh, I've not done very well at all. Sometimes I may be good, sometimes I may be... Maybe, sometimes maybe could do so. But do you know what? It's not... If I wanted to play with a proper DM, I actually don't think he'd be that bad. I know I'm probably making light of a not great pack pool, but I feel like he'd be an absolute monster at DM, just breaking up the play. That could have been a lot worse. He actually will probably be somewhat usable. For at least a few weeks. So I'll actually take that. All right. We have got our next 87 rated Basis Econ Pamax 87. All right. Here we go. Be better than that. We want to see Italy to be fair. Zola's class. Italy. HB. Oh, who's that? Oh my God. Zambrotta? Be Zambrotta. Be Zambrotta. That is fantastic. That is arguably one of the best cards you can get. That is absolutely phenomenal. And he's worth a really good chunk. Like a really good chunk. That Zambrotto is one of those cards that is, because of the way that he plays and his stats and whatnot, he is genuinely usable all year round. I saw people with base Zambrotto in their teams towards the back end of last year. He's worth half a million coins. A W in pack number two. Let's go. All right. Next icon pack. So far, we've actually been done all right. To be fair, Italy seems to be the only nation we've seen so far. Let's get another nation. Fernando Torres, SCN, really good pulls in this as well. I think Balak's really solid too. Crespo is one of those where like, everyone's going to be like, oh, he's an L because of his price. He's, worth, he's only worth about 150, 160K. But I'm telling you right now, if you've played against Crespo or you've used him this year, he is a menace up top. He's actually really good. He's one of those cards that, although his price is low, does not reflect his ability in game. You'll actually really enjoy that card. All right, we have got Dario's icon pack next. Come on, EA. England? Center mid, is that Lampard? Lampard's not great. Lampard's not great at all. Lampard is not amazing. He's actually not terrible, but like, it's not phenomenal. You know what I mean? It's not It's not super exciting. I guarantee he's actually got an absolute banger of a shot on him and probably decent to bring on in like the 70th minute, but I'm not taking Lampard into champ. All right, we go again. Come on, EA. Let's see a good, good nation. Let's see SCN. Germany, center mid. Balak, I think. Could it be anyone else? Balak's phenomenal, by the way. Yes, it is. It's Balak. I can tell by the playstyle plus. 450k. These are giving out, mate. These are actually giving out. Like, so far, these packs have been pretty decent. Given the fact that it's only an 86 and 85 rated squad, I thought EA would be really stingy and we'd be getting, like, the worst icons every time. But so far, these have been really good. And Balak is solid. Team of the week player pick first. Here we go. 84, Mkhitaryan, it's good fodder. You know, we get an SPC that requires a team of the week. 84 is solid, man. It's solid. I'm seeing a lot of people getting Ian Rush right now, which I'm a little bit worried about that. I hope we don't get Ian Rush, and I really hope I didn't just jinx that as well. German? Yeah, another Balak. I'll happily take another Balak. These have been paying out like crazy so far. Another Michael Balak, another 400 plus K icon, another big W. Very, very nice. Well, if your look's been really bad, Dan, hopefully we turn it around with this pack. Come on, let's get Dan something good for his poor look recently. French, CDM, Petit would be really good. Petit or Makalele? I think both of them are CDMs, right? That is Makalele, who I think actually that card looks really good. I think you'd take that, right? I think you'd happily take Cloud Makalele. That's a really good one, right? What's he, what's he worth? What's he worth? Oh, he's half a mil. <laughs> I knew he was worth a lot, but I thought he was worth like 350, 400. I didn't realize he was half a million coins. Look at those play styles, to be fair. This is a sick card, man. Oh, my word. This is a sick card. Let's go, dude. That's probably our best one so far. All right, next max 87 base icon. We are on a really good run. We're on a really, really good run. Come on. Next one's going to be English center back. It's Campbell, I think. And I think that's another decent one. I'm pretty sure. 86 Campbell. The, the stats look good. The only issue with this card, I think, is 58 dribbling and it's 60 passing. It's like, you know, it's not absolutely nuts in terms of those stats. But 6 foot 2, 81 pace with those defending and physical stats. That's not bad, man. This card will 100% do a solid job. 
will do a solid job for a good period of time, in my opinion. So you take that. Is it expensive? Hello, 300k. W. All right, next one. Come on, EA. Let's keep the train going. We're on a really good run of form right now. Like, a really good run of form. He will buy a fever point, EA, if you give him a good icon. The fever point method. Italian. Center forward. Zola, baby. That's a class one again. 400 plus K icon right there. Finesse shot plus. 85 pace, 88 shooting, 85 passing, 89 dribbling. That is a good card, man. That is a really good card. Once again, another W. These have been absolutely cracked. Like, genuinely insane. I can't believe how lucky we've been. Zola, again, is one of the top tier icons you can get here as well. All right, next one. Here we go. Who is going to be in this pack? It's going to be Sweden. Ooh, might be our first, like, proper stinker of the day, to be honest. Depends if you'd say that um, Gattuso is a stinker. To be honest, the stats aren't that bad at Larson, though. Granted, like, is he the card everyone wants? No, absolutely not. But I think his stats actually look pretty pretty okay. The three-star skills is a bit let down. But, like, pace is good. Shooting's really good. Dribbling's good. Physical's really good. Heading's solid. Um... Yeah, I don't think it's that bad. All right, our next one. Look, EA, he will buy 12,000 fever points. 89.99 in euros if you give him a good icon right now. That's the trade-off here, EA. Frank Lampard is not enough to get 90 euros, EA. That's not enough, man. You need to do better than that to get his 90 euros. He's not buying fever points now. I'm just the messenger. All right, we go again. Let's get some W. Let's get back on winning track here, EA. Dutch Cam Seydorf. Hmm... It's not awful. I will say it has just gone quarter past six. I feel like the rotation's changed. I feel like the early rotation was incredible and we were getting insane cards. And now the rotation's definitely, definitely changed and we're definitely out of favor. I don't think Sadov is a terrible card. I've actually used him. He's not bad. All right, Jack's got a team of the week player pick and his max 87 icon pack. Player pick first, Van Dyke. It's good fodder. It is decent fodder. You can't you can't argue with that, all right? That's a, that's solid fodder. 86 rated team of the week. That will come in handy at some point down the line. We want the, a good max 87 base icon here, yeah. Come on. French. Striker. No, Trezeguet. That's not what you want. If it's French, I think you just want DM. CDM is like... I'm trying to think if there's any other positions that are really good from France. I don't think there is. CDM is like the one you want, realistically. All right, we go again. Come on, EA. Let's get back to winning ways. Italy. Croatia. I, right, this is a controversial one. I really like Davor Suka. I, I just think he's actually a really solid player in FIFA. He's just got a really good build. He's strong and he's got the left foot of, I don't know, something really powerful. Four star, four star. Like, he's just a solid, solid card in game. But other people seem to think this card's really, really bad. I think, like, if I got him, I would actually use him. I think he's actually a solid card. So, I wouldn't be too disappointed if you got this card. All right, next Max 87 base icon, Italy. I thought it was for a second. It's Mexico. I don't know about this card. I haven't seen the stats. Is this good? What are his stats saying? Do you know what? Those stats are pretty good. Those stats are pretty solid. What's he worth? Like 200k? Is he four, four star skills, three star weak foot? That's not a bad card. What is. Okay, so he's got chip shot and power header. I, I'll be honest with you, the play styles could probably be, be a bit better. But that's not a terrible card, in my opinion. That's not bad. Okay, next icon pack. Come on. This is it. This one, I feel, is going to be SCN. SCN or Torres? Nemanja, oh, Nemanja, oh, he comes from Serbia, il murdia, Nemanja, oh, that's class, I mean, I don't know how much this vintage is worth, I don't know if this is a card you want, I just, it's just exciting, isn't it, 334k, he's still worth a good amount, and he's a solid card in game, and just, you know, Nemanja Vidic, we love that. We also got a brand new store pack today. The Supreme Season Opener Pack contains 40 rare gold players with one rated 85 or higher. Um, I don't see why this is 215k, but we'll open it anyway. Let's see what we get. No Trailblazer. It's going to be England, right back Trent. No way. Not even a walkout. 2.5k FIFA points. 215k coins. What? 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 For 285s. 
This, mm, stay away. Do not, do not open this store pack. It is the least worth it store pack you will ever open. It's not even worth it. Usually, I would give away some FIFA points to people when we'd open them on SharePlay. I'm not even going to do that because that is just pointless. That is absolutely awful. All right, we have got Wazza's 87 icon pack. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. It was bound to happen at some point. Ian Rush. All I'm saying, right, I'm not trying to polish a turd here, but I know I've done this for a lot of icons today, right? Look, it's a terrible card, but you get like Trent at right back and just, you know, like get the cross in. He probably scores some headers. All right, we, we go again. We go again. Non-stop icon packs. We go again. No way is that back-to-back -back Ian rushes. Oh, no way. I need, to, I need to rub my eyes. What am I seeing? Back-to-back -back Ian Rush icons. Get out of here. This is icon pack number 20. I'm surprised we've opened 20 so far. But we have opened 20 so far. And to be fair, the majority of them have been Ws. I would say a solid 60% have been dubs. A 60-40 ratio is pretty good. Will pack number 20 be a W? We're on a bit of a we're on a bit of a uh, a cold streak at the minute. So Ah, Perez. This one's personal preference. If you I think you might get along with this card, to be fair. He hasn't got terrible stats, and he is an icon at the end of the day. You might actually get along with him. Maybe if you can play him cam uh, with a finesse shot plus, he's probably not terrible. But it's it's definitely not one to get super excited about. But I don't think it's I don't think it's god awful, you know. We're gonna end it off with Robert's icon pack. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new around here and you enjoy the content, as it greatly helps me out. Uh, you know. It's been rough. I'll be honest with you. The start of this year has been been kind of rough for the channel. We've definitely seen a massive drop off in views and whatnot. Um, but I'm still gonna sit here and work hard every day to get content out early for you guys, so you guys can see what's what's up, what's what's in the game and stuff like that. Doesn't matter how many views we drop. Like I'm still gonna be here grinding content for you guys because I love it. So thank you all for watching and thank you all for the support. For those of you that are supporting the channel and leaving a like on the videos and subscribing, as it does help out massively. Crespo's heading it off. We'll see you lads later.